I did want to make sure that we made time for one of our Wednesday features that everybody seems to enjoy. I'm talking about Ask the Lawyer with attorney for the injured Bruce L. Shiner. Would you please help me welcome Bruce Shiner right now at Kicks Country 92.9. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this morning? Oh, out of breath, but uh, as they say, better late than never, you know. Well, as long as you're breathing and are upright, <laughs> you're doing okay. Yeah, I say out of breath, but at least I am taking it in and exhaling, so that's good. Um, we, of course, are on pins and needles like everybody else over the election. But we're just going to have to be patient is my feeling. I'm not sure we'll even find out even today. Well, I, I think you're right. We have to be patient, and I think we'll have a good idea by the end of the day what the results are going to be. Gotcha. I was, I was interested in your opinion on that. Uh, also, I want to find out before we dive into today's question, how are things going with you, the firm, and the family? Everything's going as good as can be expected. Yeah. Um, we're getting back. We're getting our people back in the office. Uh -huh. Everybody's healthy, so everything's going well, and I appreciate your asking. Well, that's kind of a, a slam dunk these days, if you can say all that you just said. Anyway, we do have somebody who's not faring quite as well, and they've sent in a question for your opinion. You mind giving that? I'm happy to give it, Todd. I look forward to our Wednesday morning chat. Okay, and as do we, because we learn so much. Let me go ahead and read you the email here. I was driving my truck for my job, and another truck ran a red light and struck me. I was severely injured, including a herniated disc in my neck that required surgery. Our company's HR person says that the at-fault party is responsible for my medical bills and lost wages, not workman's comp. The at-fault parties, who was also driving a work truck, said that I am only entitled to workman's comp. And because I was working, I'm not allowed to collect for pain and suffering from the at-fault party. I have enormous medical bills, and I am getting the runaround. Can a lawyer help? And I, I always answer that question. It's the only one I'm qualified to answer. Yes, uh, a lawyer can help. Bruce, what do you make of that situation? Well, this looks like a bar exam question, but um, it, it's very interesting because everybody's trying to serve their own interests. Mm -hmm. First of all, first of all, because the person got hurt on the job, mm -hmm. they're entitled to workers' compensation benefits. There's, okay. there's no question. There's no denying it, and and that's very fortunate because, especially in a serious injury case. Workers' compensation provides very important benefits. Right, and it says here provide... their HR person says they aren't entitled. I find out sometimes HR people aren't the ones to go to on something like this. Well, you have to go to them because you have to yes. report, the, right. report the injury, but they think that if they uh, deny the claim, they're, they're doing a service because they'll keep their premiums down. Right, right. But, you know, you got to look out for your employees. They're the most important people. Right. And... Um, as I said, especially in a serious injury case, work comp provides very important mm -hmm. benefits. They provide lifetime medical care, and they provide, um, you know, biweekly wage reimbursement while you're mm -hmm. unable to work. Okay. All right. Now, so ahead, that's, that's part of the answer. The other part of the answer is, you know, the at-fault party is trying to take advantage of it and said, hey, you're collecting work comp, so you can't collect from us for your pain and suffering and inconvenience uh -huh. and other items. Uh -huh. Absolutely, if the other party caused the accident, they're responsible for every damage. Mm. Medical bills, the lost wages, pain and suffering, inconvenience, all the elements of damages. Now, what, what actually happens and why it's so important to have a lawyer in a case like this is because on one hand, you have to work comp and what you're entitled to. On the other hand, you got to collect your benefits from the at-fault party. And then when it's all said and done, the work comp carrier has a right of subrogation mm -hmm. or a lien on your settlement. And a good lawyer will get a great reduction for you on the work comp lien so you can maximize your proceeds from the settlement. I see. That's a very important point because just when you think you're getting to the end of a long road, you could have a nasty surprise unless you've got a professional working on this for you. 
Absolutely. It's it's a very intricate process, and yeah. you need someone with a lot of experience to handle that for you. It, it, that's what I was thinking, is this is not one to try and tackle yourself, as this person has already found out they're getting nothing but the runaround and finger-pointing anyway. Bruce, I really do appreciate you weighing in on this one today, and I'm sure that our email writer does as well. Okay, well, thank you so much, and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Absolutely, Bruce. You take care. Say hi to the family, please. Thanks, Todd. Okay, bye-bye. Let's give it up again for Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, and our Ask the Lawyer segment of the week. Please make sure that if you find yourself in a similar situation, you know they're waiting to help you as well. All you have to do is call the Port Charlotte office at 941-743-7777. That's 743-7777 and get a free consultation. And also, I mean, this is priceless peace of mind. Let them help you protect your rights with Bruce L. Shiner and Associates. One more time, 941-743-7777. And tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.